Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Beer is Tasty. My name is Chris. And I'm Brian. Hey there, Brian. Hey there, Chris. How the heck you been doing? Don't know. All right. All right. So this episode, we're doing Sierra Nevada Summerfest. Summerfest, everybody. So we had a viewer write us in. Actually, he sent us a little cash. If you'd like to put beer directly in our mouth, you can do that, too. He went over to Jupiter Broadcasting, hit the one-time donation button. Click. And said, you guys got to check out Sierra Nevada. Yep. And try to get a Summerfest. And you know what we did? We took that money, and we bought some. Now we're gonna put it in your mouth and give you a review about it. You know what I love about this show? What? I love its simplicity. Yeah. If you send us beer, we will take that. If you send us money, what? Oh, I'm yeah. confused already. <laughs> not so simple. It's not so simple. Oh no. All right. So this this beer is brewed and bottled yeah. by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company in yep. Chico, California. Now, if you've ever been to beautiful downtown Chico, California, you'll know it's not. Existing. You drive through it, you're heading north on I-5, right? Yeah. Or south on I-5 even. It goes both ways nowadays. It's very cool. That's pretty And you're, just, you're cruising along, you're cruising, you're, on, you're going like, and you're like, oh, awesome, I'm near Redding, California. Okay, but that's not Chico. That's not Chico. No, okay. And then you're like, there goes Chico. Wait, where was Chico? You, you, you missed it. Did I blink, Brian? <laughs> so, uh, but that's that's where. But that's I guess at. they have a big enough patch to make beer. So this is a crisp summer lager. And here's uh, the thing, it's also got a 5% by volume alcohol level. So it's... It's a little above average. So yeah. It's, you know, it's going to get you drunker than uh, than some. Maybe not as drunk as a, uh, you know, a Bud All American Ale, but, but pretty close. For those of you who like to know the yeast extracts that you're consuming, uh, this <laughs> yeast comes from a bottom fermenting type of yeast, generally associated with a lager. But uh, you know what? But it's a Pilsner. That's the thing, though. They call it, this is called a Sumner lager. It's but a, a lot of people, ca people online say it's more like a Pilsner. It's a, they call it a Czech. Pilsner. And Chris, why don't you inform the people well, why it's called a Czech Pilsner? This is pretty crazy, Brian. Now, I'm just going to give everybody a little bit of an extremely beer history lesson here. So prepare yourselves <laughs> for a little beer Extremely beer history so lesson. So a Chesnek, right? Chesnek? Chesnek? Uh Pilsner uh, is Kazek. actually Kazek. the birthplace is in, is in Czech. Uh, it can be traced Czech, back what to What used to be Czechoslovakia. Yeah. Do you remember when it was still Czechoslovakia? Oh, yeah. I'm bringing it back. I don't know what kind of I'm ramifications that has. But I'm I, reclaiming the Slovakia. I don't know. That might get you killed. I don't think so. Okay. I'm good here. I'm okay. in America, man. All right. As, as so, far as I'm concerned, it's going to be Oregon, Slovakia. How do you have a good James Bond movie without a Slovakia? Somewhere mentioned. You know what I mean? Like a really like badass chick yeah, who will like kill you with her thighs when she squeezes you. A little Slovakia in my throat. A little Slovakia. Now, now uh, to get back to the history lesson. Yeah. Uh, so the reason Pilsners exist is because of Czechoslovakia. There's a town. What's the town called? Well, it's called uh, it's called Plezen or something. P L Z E N. Pilsen. Uh, or which is somehow sometimes pronounced though Pilsen. So what happened is in like in the 1800s, a bunch of people in yeah. in, in Polzen, a uh, terrible yep. name, though, by the way. It should be Pilsen Slovakia. They got together and, like, let's form, like, a, a group, like yeah. a club. They formed a beer club. Yeah. Uh, I'm rewriting their history for them it's right now. It's pretty accurate, uh, though. They, they, they check formed it. a beer club and, boom, Pilsner. That's now, how it works. What do you think about the concept of locating all of these places that are kind of like this and then making, like, a pilgrimage to all these places? Like, all these places that have beer namesake. Like, what if there was, like, a town of hops over in Ireland? You gotta, you gotta go there, right? You do have to. And now you found out about there's a place called Pilsner in the in the in Czech. You want to go to Czech? I kind of want to go to Czech. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. So as a bucket list thing, I'm thinking maybe I gotta just check out off. Wait, off is a what thing? You know the bucket list. This is like your death your death list, right? Dude, isn't that like a, like I don't know, dude. I didn't see the movie. movie. I didn't see I the think movie. It's like a movie. I'm just going like off of the review. <laughs> I don't. I didn't see it. But I think it's a term. Was that like a term before the movie? Yes, I think so. Because I've never, I never, I never heard, heard that it either. I never did. I, I swear that yeah. it's like something like Ma that Maya Angelou chick. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The chick in Hallmark who yeah. writes slogans like, yeah. like, don't you love angels and stuff? <laughs> yeah. And whatnot. Yeah. I think she came up with that. And it, then it they just made a movie. Stop scratching. It. Uh, that's so. Uh, we're pairing these with uh, some some nice salt and pepper <sighs> chips. They got a good flavor to them. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, we're going to put them in our mouth because salty usually goes pretty good with a lot. Have you tried the beer yet? I kind of like it. It's flavory. I don't know. It's okay. Oh, yeah? It's pretty smooth. I, I mean, wanna, smooth isn't... I kind of want to stab you in the face right now. I really like it. Have you tried it with a chip? No, I haven't tried it with a chip yet. I'm just enjoying the beer. All right. So here's the thing. This is a very, it's very... It's refreshing. It's a very traditional Pilsner. Um, it's very hoppy. Yeah. Um, That's I probably would, why you like it so much. 
It's not that bitter. I, it's, it's a, it's I have the bitterness unit bitter. over here. Oh, do you have the actual bitterness unit? It's got a 28 bitterness unit. Which so it's not, something. it's not killer. You know, it's nothing to write home about. Dearest mother, you know, uh, this beer is better. Uh, Jonathan has fallen to the scurvy and uh, Amy has had a snake bite. Also, this beer has a 28 in the oh, IBU. Oh, by the way. Yeah, she's going to be like, really? That was not that important. I don't even think you would. You hit, I don't you think hit like a 50 that. or a 60 IBUs? Maybe the PPS. Maybe. The PPS? Mm -hmm. You ever do a PPS? Yeah. Like, why, why don't you just end the conversation? Why you put it? Come on, why'd you end it? You, 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 you want to keep going. Top. Just move it up. Yeah. yeah, seriously. Can you keep going with PPSs? Like, can you keep that in peace? I don't know what the official rule is on I don't that. even know what P or the S stands for. Uh, postscript. So it would be post postscript? Yep. I cannot believe I know it's called postscript. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. I'm probably wrong. All probably. right. Uh, I, I think I like this. It's very carbonated, too. It's got a lot of carbonation, which it is really not does. usually it's your big thing. Sometimes no, you call that spritey when it's... It's very soda poppy. It's very bubbly on the tongue, which I like in like a carbonated water. I think that's where I get the refreshing from, because to me that bubbliness is kind of like uh, that. Oh, I'm hot! I just cracked open a nice cold beverage. And this fell on the floor. Oh, it's for the rats. It's dude. on the floor. Just leave, just leave it for the rats. <laughs> Alright, I'm put it on the table. The, the beer is tasty. It's for the rats. gophers. You ought to just bring those goats in here every now and then, and just have them eat up in the studio. Dude, speaking of which, my goats are getting big. Mm -hmm. Like how big? Like like goat big, or like <laughs> they're uh, they're like right here. Yeah. They're like, they're about crotch height right now. My goats are about crotch height. So like if the goat was just standing like this. <laughs> <laughs> you still have to bend over. Uh, like, you have to like bend at the knees right. a little bit. The oh. show went in a horrible direction I know just it. now. So let's talk about this beer. It's All right. I like it. It goes good with the, it goes good with the chips. Honestly, this would be great with a burger. Ooh. It's very, very crisp. Ooh, it's Chinese very, food. very refreshing. Chinese I'm food. Totally eat this with Chinese food. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it tastes like a lot of Asian beers you try. Like a lot of Asian, like the Yes, it does. Asian it does. It does. But if you don't like hoppy beers, you will hate this. Um, if you're more of a fan of, of, your, of, your, of your dark stouts and your whatnots, this is not your beer. Um, you know, it's not, it's not really exciting. If you abhor like a, like a Bud or a Coors or something like that, you're not going to enjoy it. What about this. being a whore? Anyways, I guess let's give this. Uh, I'm gonna give this a B minus. I'm gonna give it a B, solid B, because honestly, I'd drink this again. This is tasty, 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 tasty. I think we got a stout coming up too in the next episode. It's like a Russian stout or something. All right, go out and buy a stout that's Russian, and join us. I'll put it in the show notes. Put no, I won't. I won't. No, I won't. I won't. I won't remember. I won't remember. You're not gonna remember. No. Okay. Well, if you'd like to tell us how we can Damn, do a better dude. job, head over to JupiterColony.com. There's a section in there just for beer is tasty. It's fantastic. Also, you can go to us on. Face a book slash Jupiter Broadcasting. And you know, not no, a bad no. place to go because we're doing more and more beer is tasty on location. Right as we're doing it, we put on our Facebook page. I love going out in public and getting drunk. Yeah. I love it. It is so much better than being in private and getting drunk. Right? Here's the thing. If you get drunk all the time, but you're in, like in private and you're like sitting in your own home, you're an alcoholic. If you do it out in public... You're just having a good time. You're having a lot of fun. It's, it's, everyone loves the, you know, the life of the party. It's a good time. You know what we've done? We've combined the two, because <laughs> this is technically public, but we're in my house by ourselves right now, drinking in my garage. <laughs> so that's awesome. Look how smart we are. You know? Cheers. Ha <laughs> ha!